Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Saturday of the third week of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted to him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter said to him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we're finishing up the Bread of Life discourse and seeing the fallout of Jesus' teaching. And again, when it says that this saying is hard, who can accept it? It goes back to yesterday's scripture where Jesus says such profound things as, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood uh, remains in me, and I in him. And again, as we talked about yesterday, this is so hard for them to understand on the other side of the cross because they don't have the reflection point that we do, those who are on the other side of the cross, the other side of the resurrection, and within the formation of the church that began at Pentecost and continues on through uh, our century right now. And we understand now what Jesus was teaching through the Eucharist. We understand what it means to eat his body and blood, that that is what takes place in Holy Communion. We all understand that now, but for them back then, it really uh, was, as they said, a hard saying. Many of them thought he was talking about becoming cannibals, and that just really, uh, in fact, that was one of the accusations in the early church <clears throat> made by the detractors. In the early church, many of them said, referring back to these teachings from Jesus, that secretly the Christians were actually partaking in cannibalism. But that was not obviously the case, and we understand now. And there were those back then who, even though they didn't understand, like Simon Peter in our gospel today, he didn't understand exactly what was being said, but he trusted Jesus. And I think this is the key. This is the thing we have to look at in this particular passage. Uh, Jesus, it, it says, knew that his disciples were murmuring, and Scripture also says he knew who would not believe. Uh, <clears throat> by being God and having foreknowledge, he already knew that there were those who would fall away from this teaching, but he wanted to deposit it intentionally at this time to fasten it into the hearts of those who were following him. And here he asked the 12 that he had named as his apostles, you know, are you going to leave too? And Simon Peter, again, being the first among equals, uh, speaks up for the entire group. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. That is the sum and substance of faith right there. We may not understand everything. We may not understand uh, literally how bread and wine become his body and blood, but Jesus says that it does. And as Peter said, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. This is a mystery. The incarnation is a mystery. The paschal mystery is a mystery. The Trinity is a mystery. 
how bread and wine become his body and blood is a mystery, which in fact is where the word sacrament comes from. Sacramentum means mystery. We don't know how it happens. We just know that it does. And we have to remember that Jesus, as Peter says, has the words of eternal life. He is the one who is unlocking for us the mystery of how we can make our journey to heaven. It is built on relationship, a relationship that is expressed through the church by baptism and the other sacraments and is is sustained through the partaking of his body and blood, which we do in the Holy Eucharist. And so we too, when we finally come to that point of just trusting him, have to realize we don't have it all figured out. It isn't something that can be totally, completely understood uh, in the fullness of, of our mind. In fact, uh, I remember there's a, a Protestant philosopher by the name of Dr. C.E.M. Joad who said at one point, a God who is comprehended is no God at all. That if we can comprehend all that God is, that's not God. Because God is greater, bigger, and, and uh, higher than we are in terms of everything. And so we have, to, we have to just take him at his word, considering the grace of the Eucharist and all that is going on here. This is a powerful passage. And I can say that after a lot of study in John chapter 6 over many, many decades in the church, that I too came to that point of saying, Master, to whom shall we go? And for me, it was the decision to come into the fullness of the Catholic faith where we express fully the, uh, the work that Jesus accomplishes through his body and blood in the Mass, in the liturgy of the Eucharist. So may the uh, words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, good to be with you today and good to have uh, this opportunity to share in this amazing, beautiful discount course in John chapter 6. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.